It is now time for our weekly segment, Touch Base in Seoul, where we speak to a variety of people from all walks of life, and we are very honored today to be joined by Kang Su Jin. She is the artistic director of the Korean National Ballet. Uh, really needs no introduction, I'm sure, to most of our listeners, a legendary uh, figure here in fine arts, especially in ballet. Uh, Madame Kang, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate your time. Thank you. Nice to see you. <laughs> we know that uh, we'll talk a lot about your career yes. and, of course, uh, your retirement. Uh, it was July last year. This was exactly 30 days, uh, 30 years yes. after uh, joining the Stuttgart Ballet. Everyone knows this as one of the most prestigious companies. Um, it must have felt bittersweet when you decided to say that this is going to be the uh, no. end of my career. No, actually, I'm very. <laughs> Everybody thought I would be very sad yes. and all that thing. No, I'm very thankful. It was a, the beautiful retirement mm -hmm. that I never imagined. And because also I gave uh, the performance, which I ha uh, was wishing. Mm. It was a very good performance uh, for me and then that I, or to, for the public. Uh, that was the only uh, wish I had. For all those years who loved me, right? I just uh, want to, to give a really good performance to thank them, and it was uh, like this. And then at the end, the event what they did for me was uh, it was just uh, so beautiful. And then uh, the I don't have this uh, sad uh, mm. or this bitter no because I gave everything while I was uh, dancing. Every day I really worked, uh, and then with the uh, uh, from my heart I gave, uh, so no regret. Right, and that makes me happy to retire uh, this way. That uh, which I can give my whole knowledge and my love to, uh, of dance ballet to for the next generation. I'm sure that there were certainly some fans, though, who yes. might have been uh, disappointed. And I think what we'd like to know is you look like someone who's 20 years younger than your <laughs> real age. <laughs> because <And> of so, ballet. <laughs> but, but that's the thing is the, we know that it is such an artistic endeavor, but it is also physically you're an athlete yes, as well. And yes. so I know that takes a toll. But what exactly was the re decision that I should retire at that moment? Actually, I never thought I will retire. Mm. On the day when I decided, I become uh, the director of a uh, Korean National Ballet. As uh, that day, I said, "Okay, now I will decide uh, my retirement date." Mm. Otherwise, it I I was uh, never thinking. Oh, yes, I knew I one see. day I will stop dancing, but it was just the timing. Mm. I thought, okay, now uh, to go to Korea, otherwise uh, uh, to take this uh, chance and then to uh, this honor, otherwise uh, uh, I think I would have never come back to Korea because I I, uh, I was very happy. Right. I I I'm, uh, I had uh, my husband, all my uh, it was a settle down. It was a, and also forever. Uh, nothing was a problem. Everything was a happy life. But then, when I decided that, uh, to uh, take over uh, over this uh, Korean National Artistic Director, I said, "Okay, this is number one, my responsibility. Mm. Then the second, until I retire, then this is my number two. So it was uh, quite hard to do both." But uh, my first priority was uh, company. I see. Mm. So it was really not, oh, I'm so tired. I want to, I, I just want to stop being a ballerina. But really, the sense of duty that you had with this uh, important new decision, you yes. felt the timing just worked out uh, yes. uh, very mm. well for that. Uh, I, again, I do want to bring up that I think a lot of your fans and people know that uh, you've had such a legendary and well renowned career internationally acclaimed. Uh, do you step back and say no regrets as far as what I've accomplished and my decisions up to this point? Yes. <laughs> no regret. In my life, I can tell you, every day was not easy. Mm. But whatever I did, I don't regret. 
that much I live, uh, uh, I try to live 100%. And that was uh, made me uh, where I I, where, uh, I became so strong, mm -hmm. where I am. And uh, people, uh, I guess that they appreciate how much I gave. And then I still love to give. Right. That gives the uh, whole story no regret. Uh, my actually uh, life is uh, one thing I can be happy because I don't regret things, mm. uh, good or bad, right. and the mistake uh, in the life happens. But when I decide to do, I do until uh, the end, until 100%, I do my best. And that best uh, is, of course, something that many people know, uh, being uh, the youngest dancer in one of the most uh, prestigious uh, companies, the Stuttgart uh, Ballet, uh, leading all the way up now to really being, I suppose, I, I think there's a sense of, I, I guess, love of country, uh, patriotism, and a desire to face your challenges. Can you just talk about um, how you decided and uh, decided uh, this is my next step to be in charge of the Korean National Ballet mm -hmm. and, and what you want to do. Mm. Okay, the excitement came uh, uh, not, uh, not that easy, but easy enough because I never actually, it was a, the, there was a, some kind of a before the talk, uh, many years, years, uh, but it was not the time. I was very busy mm -hmm. as a ballerina and I was always busy on that, uh, the last uh, until the decidement. But I knew I wanted to one day go back to give uh, to my country. Mm -hmm. And then the, the, my next uh, baton to this beautiful ballet that which I enjoyed the half century right. almost uh, I had to kind of it was my duty I thought in my uh, like a sixth cent mm. but when my husband I asked because it was very important for me sure. that husband uh, uh, wants to come to Korea with me because then uh, this excitement uh, actually my husband said is that what you want and I said yes I think now is the time otherwise I will never go back I think and then he said let's go wow and that made the uh, excitement and but more mainly what I learned and the beautiness uh, from this uh, uh, doing ballet all those years uh, heart was so beautiful and this uh, for, uh, for the next generation as I say in the uh, Korean National Ballet uh, s there are so many uh, dancers I wanted uh, that they continue to give uh, mm. also next next uh, even it's a few even it's many right this feeling it's very it doesn't exist here in this world so that was actually very uh, easy not easy excitement I know that people have probably brought up that comparison and uh, you may or may not like it uh, because she has not had the, the length of your storied career. But uh, when you look at someone like Kim Yana of figure yes, skating yes. and being this sort of national hero, but at the same time internationally renowned yes. and bringing that expertise back to Korea. And I only bring up Kim Yana's name because the 2018 Pyeongchang Olympics is coming yes. up and uh, it, you have a very important uh, performance uh, produced there by the Korean National Ballet. Yes going to perform Anna Karenima. Uh, this is a uh, performance uh, that will be uh, based on the uh, famous Russian work and it is in conjunction with the uh, Seoul Art Center Opera Theater. You are the director of this performance and I know, you know, yeah. non-experts will think of Swan Lake or yes, all of these other yes, kind of yes. uh, things yeah. in the repertoire. Why did you choose Anna Karenima? Because uh, of uh, the 21st of uh, Dancer and the company, I thought that this uh, now, of course, how you say, like uh, Swan Lake, everybody right. knows uh, Swan Lake, uh, I think uh, for 300 years. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but uh, I, when I came also to the Nation, uh, Korean National Ballet, 
21st century of a ballet company, this big company, and then a dancer has to be able to do everything. Mm. Like you just don't eat the rice for every day. Sure. You have to be able to digest all different kind of uh, the food and make it something that it, it makes you healthy. Mm. So this Anna Karenina from a Christian book, uh, also the, the Anna Karenina is very well known, Tolstoy sure. story. And also the, the style, it had uh, from classic to modern and the music also. So it was uh, for the, the globally, that which uh, even in the, from the outside, uh, the, the foreigner people, it doesn't matter whoever sees, that what is uh, happening, the 21st of uh, century ballet. And then in the, at the same time, Honan Soran. After the, in the Gangneung, uh, we will perform Anna Karenina as uh, the, the what is ballet of uh, these mm. days goes on. And then Hanan Soran is uh, the uh, what Korean style involves to the ballet with right. the technique. So uh, also the uh, history of Korean. So that will be very interesting for the whole uh, world and then also for the Korean people which is that uh, it performed now in a, only in Seoul but it will go to the for the Pyeongchang the beside right. the Pyeongchang and of course I am uh, the uh, uh, empresario for the Pyeongchang so I I am very honored that uh, we can uh, make uh, uh, as a uh, art olympic mm. also that which also ballet is not uh, uh, grown up in the Korea, but which it improved incredibly. Right. It's a world uh, class. The now how they do the uh, now. If you see the uh, performance, you will be very surprised. So the when the people sees uh, this is also to show it makes our culture. It's not our culture, but it made we right. make something which in, in, in internationally. It's not originally ours, but we've taken it yeah, and we've and improved that, upon it, and that is really the yes, the goal of uh, yeah. displaying that. Uh, we have so many listeners, whether they're young girls or even men who uh, desire to perhaps pursue a career, uh, maybe look at you as a hero. And as a final thought, I know a lot of people are looking forward to this next chapter and the success that you'll have with Korea National Ballet. But for those who want to follow in your footsteps, just some short words of advice, what would you advise them? Discipline. <laughs> <laughs> um, life, actually, you have to live to see. I can say now, after 50 years old, uh, you know, half a century, when I was younger, actually, uh, I do, uh, it was uh, difficult than uh, how I'm, I am now. I don't want to get younger to tell you the truth, oh, okay. really. But uh, for the young people, it's uh, for them, you just have to uh, do what you would like to do. It's very important. Because uh, when you are young, you don't know what you are doing. Mm -hmm. But you think you really know what you do. And that makes a lot of mistake. Right. But with mistake, you uh, grow. And then uh, for the 30, 40, this is the, the one of the best time of your life. But for me, it was the best, uh, every day was the best time of life. The, especially now when I go back, most difficult time of my life made, made me where I am. Mm. So the, it's, it is not easy, the life. Right. Uh, especially these days, it's a very difficult moment uh, people are passing through. I see. But uh, uh, be, uh, Try to be positive because if you think negative, negative will think uh, things will happen negatively. 
it is some great advice perseverance discipline passion uh, all of that rolled up into one really embodied by uh, your brilliant career and we really appreciate the time that you've shared with us thank you so much and obviously best of luck with the Pyeongchang Olympics and your future as the head of the uh, Korean National Ballet Kang Soo Jin thank you so much for joining us best of luck thank to you, you. Thank you.